To mourn those who succumbed to the coronavirus, China's 1.38 billion people stood silently on Saturday morning to the tune of cars, trains and ships sounding their horns for three minutes. The three minutes of silence symbolically occurred on the Qingming Festival or Tomb Sweeping Day in China on the 4th at 10am. All public activities were suspended with flags at half-mast. The subway trains in Shanghai also stopped running for the duration and sounded their horns too. The mass event commemorates the deaths of more than 81,000 people in China, including 14 frontline medical workers who have been declared martyrs of the epidemic. Most memorably, of course, is none other than Dr. Li Wenliang, who was punished and humiliated by Chinese authorities for sounding the alarm about the outbreak back in December, a mind-boggling move that potentially enabled the then epidemic to become a pandemic. Here's some news you may have missed when we were away. The coronavirus has halted almost all aspects of daily life, but crowd prevention regulations in China are making the Qinming Festival, or Tomb Sweeping Day, especially difficult. Tomb Sweeping, a day of tidying the graves of loved ones, falls on April 4th this year, and those unable to do so because of said regulations can apply to have cemetery workers do it for them. I'll explain that in a second. While the holiday usually bears witness to masses gathering at cemeteries across the country, authorities this year are capping the number of people to avoid those big crowds. So an online reservation system has been rolled out, but if you aren't able to book your spot, which is highly likely considering the sheer number of people, workers at Beijing's Baobao Shan Cemetery can and will honour your dead for you. Photos published online to Chinanews.com show a three-person team dressed in protective gear looking slightly out of place. They scrub tombstones, leave flowers behind, and then bow. Similar systems have since been set up at Shanghai cemeteries, where all 160,000 tomb sweeping day slots have now been taken, which likely means a lot of strangers cleaning a lot of strangers' graves. As China's regime pushes a narrative of how Xi Jinping is winning the war on the coronavirus and that Wuhan only suffered a very questionable 2,548 deaths, images surfacing online of stacks of urns and long queues at funeral homes cast doubt over their dubious claims. According to Bloomberg, the families of those who succumbed to the virus in Wuhan were allowed to collect their cremated ashes at numerous funeral homes last week. And as they did, photos began to circulate online that showed thousands of urns being shipped in. According to Chinese media outlet Kai Xin, outside one funeral home, trucks delivered around 2,500 urns on both Wednesday and Thursday. Another picture showed 3,500 urns stacked on the ground inside. That one funeral home alone already exceeds the official number of those dead. Residents in Wuhan claim 500 urns have been handed out to grieving families every day from seven separate funeral homes all serving the city. This means the ashes of 3,500 people are distributed every 24 hours. The funeral homes in Hankou, Wuchang and Hanyang have told grieving families that they will receive the ashes before April 5th, the date of Qingming Festival, where people tend the graves of their ancestors. This means that 42,000 urns could be distributed in that 12-day period. On the 27th of March, one Wuhan resident going only by his surname Zhang told Radio Free Asia, it can't be right because the incinerators have been working round the clock. 
so how can so few people have died? Another local resident, Chen Yao Hu, told RFA that nobody believes the official death toll, saying, they transferred cremation workers from around China to Wuhan to keep cremating bodies round the clock. Most disturbingly, however, was a post from a Weibo user saying she lost her husband to the coronavirus and had since been contacted by the police, warning her not to be too emotional and to stop posting online. If you want more Tomo in your life, click the subscribe and bell button so you get notified when a new video is up. Thanks for watching Tomo News.